Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. We are continuing with our preparation for GATE Computer Science, Engineering and Information Technology. We are solving previous year questions subject wise. So today is Operating Systems Day and we will solve two questions for Operating System. One is related to Belady's Anomaly and other is related to Set Associative Cache. Starting with Belady's Anomaly question, the question says that recall that Belady's Anomaly is that the page fault may increase as the number of allocated frames increases. Now consider the following statements. First statement is the random page replacement algorithm where a page chosen at random is replaced suffers from Belady's anomaly. And the second statement is least recently used page replacement algorithm suffers from Belady's anomaly. And you have to tell out of both out of the two questions which of them are or is correct. All right. So one thing that you need to remember related to Belady's anomaly is that Belady's anomaly occurs only when the given page replacement algorithm is not a stack algorithm. All right. Belady Belady's anomaly occurs for those page replacement algorithms which are not stack algorithms. Now for those who don't know what are stack algorithms, I'll just explain it to you in a while that are not stack algorithms. Now stack algorithms are those algorithms for which the number of uh, or the pages that are present in a particular number of n frames are not a subset of the pages that would be correspondingly present at the same time given n plus 1 frames. Now I have written a quick example for your reference guys. In this case we have the same uh, page frames that are being referred to the string page reference string goes like 1 2 3 4 1 2 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 and I've written this first in first out page replacement algorithm so that you get an idea for three frames and for four frames in this case I said that a algorithm which is not a stack algorithm it is not a stack algorithm means at some point of time when we consider and compare the corresponding pages that are present for n frames n here is 3 and we uh, compare the pages for n plus 1 frames we see that the pages that are present in n frames are not a subset of the pages that are present in n plus 1 frames. In that case, Belady's anomaly may occur. So first in first out, you know it suffers from Belady's anomaly and the reason is, as you can see, in at all the times still time equal to 6, the pages that are present in the number of frames are subset of the number of frames n plus 1. That means at in number of when number of frames is equal to 3 the pages that are present here are a subset of this 1 and 2 subset of 1 and 2 1 2 3 again a subset 4 2 3 are a subset of 1 2 3 4 so the pages 4 1 3 present in n frames n equal to 3 are a subset of the pages 1 2 3 4 present in n plus 1 frames but there comes a time at time equal to 7 and 8 when the pages in 3 frames 5 1 2 are not a subset of the pages that are present in n plus 1 at frame n plus 1 at number of frames so if there is any point of time in in the algorithm that the pages that are present in n frames are not present in n plus 1 frame even a single out of them is not present in n plus 1 number of frames then it is not a stack algorithm and it may suffer from Belady's anomaly so if we consider random page replacement algorithm in case of random the random page replacement algorithm may behave as 
FIFO algorithm also. So in that case, it may suffer from Belladies anomaly. You can see it like that also, even if you don't know the concept of stack algorithms. And least recently used algorithm is not a stack algorithm. It will never suffer from Belladies anomaly. So this statement is wrong that least recently used suffers from Belladies anomaly. So the choices S2N uh, choices A and C which say S2 is true are completely uh, out of the scope of the answer. All right. Now we have to select or see which if statement S1 is true or not. We know that uh, random page replacement algorithm may behave as first in first out and random page replacement is not a stack algorithm. So it will it may suffer from Belladies anomaly. All right. So the answer for this question is S1 is true, S2 is false. Now coming to the next question, a cache memory unit with capacity of N words and block size of B words is to be designed. If it is designed as direct mapped cache, the length of the tag field is 10 bits and if it is designed as a 16 way set associative cache length of the tag field is what now these both of these questions came in set one of 2017 gate paper and this question is the one where you are not provided with any options you have to find the answer now a shortcut for this kind of question is since you are given that in direct mapped cache the tag field is 10 bits and the in set associative cache the tag field is generally represented by the sum of the bits that are allocated to the tag field in direct map direct mapped cache plus the number of bits required for this 16 way set associative cache so 16 way set associative cache means one cache line will contain 16 sets all right or a six or a one set will be containing 16 blocks rather i should say one set should con will contain 16 blocks and 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4 so 4 bits would be required to represent one set so tag in this case tag field would be 10 of the direct mapped cache plus four bits required to represent the set all right so in direct map direct mapped cache you first see which cache line in to choose then from that cache line you see if the block that you require is present at the at that cache line by seeing the tag and then in that block you see the offset but in set associative cache you first see the set number to which where you have to find the block or to which the block may belong from that set number you find where that block is present and in this process finding where the block is present you not only need the bits that are required to represent the set the number of blocks in a set all right two, uh, there are 16 blocks in a set so 2 to the power 4 which is 4 bits would be required additional to the tag field that are required here so a shortcut would be the answer would be 10 plus 4 which is 14 but uh, giving a thorough explanation i have solved it for you guys if in, if you write a proper explanation you will do, solve the question like this if the cache size is given to you as n words all right and the block size is given to you as b words so n words that means each address in the cache would require log floor of log n base 2 all right and the block size is b words so each address in a block would require log b to the base of 2 bits all right these many bits would be required to be represented for a cache address and an address present in a particular block now the number of blocks would be total words in the cache divided by the size of each block which is n by b and the number of bits that are required to represent each block would be log of n by b base 2 okay now comes the number of sets in each cache in 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 the cache the number of set would be found out by finding the number of blocks divided by the 
blocks that are present in each set all right so the total number of blocks are n by b total number of blocks and 16 is the number of blocks in each set in each set of the cache so this would be the number of sets that would be present in the cache and this would be the number of bits that would be required to represent each set so now in case of direct mapped cache the address would be divided in three fields which would be tag cache line and offset tag is given by 10 bits cache line would be represented by log n by b all right floor of log n by b offset by log b but in case of a set associative tag we don't know we have to find this value the number of bits for this value set number would be given by log of n by b by 16 and offset by log b so if you equate these two because it represents the same cache you will find out that uh, you can expand this value log of n by b by 16 into log of n by b minus log 16 base 2 and again 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4 so finally your answer would come out to be x equal to 16 so this is another way but it is a lengthier way i told you a shorter way of finding out what would be the answer of this so you for the shorter way you can only remember in set associative cache the tag field is equal to the bits that are required for the tag field of direct mapped cache plus the number of bits that are required to represent the n way set associative cache so if it is n n way set associative cache it would be the extra bits that would be required would be log n base 2 and in this case log 16 base 2 again gives you 4 so that was today's lecture in which we talked about two questions on operating system i hope you understood both of them thank you for watching the video stay tuned to easy engineering classes for more questions on previous year gate computer science rated subjects thank you